Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In this video, I want to share my reasons why I'm using this old Nikon D50 more and more for my street photography. Let's do this. I've talked about the reasons why I got this Nikon D50 before. I'll put the link to the video up here. Please check it out. In that video, I just got the camera. I haven't used the camera much, so I couldn't talk much about the Nikon D50. But now, several months later, I found myself still using this Nikon D50 quite often for my street photography. I'm exploring the reasons why. I love this Nikon D50, although it is a nearly 20 years old camera now, and I'm still using it for my shutter therapy sessions. Reason number one, the unusual 75 millimeters equivalent focal length. And that's in reference to this 50mm Nikon lens on this APS-C size image sensor in this Nikon D50 DSLR. Now, I'm used to micro four thirds and if I'm doing street photography, I want a longer focal length. My go-to lens is the Olympus 45 f1.8, which gives me an equivalence of about 90mm to work with. That's quite close to 85mm, which is a classic portrait lens and I do a lot of portraits for my street photography. Now if I want to go wider, I'll go for an equivalent of about 15 millimeters. So the Olympus 25 millimeters f1.8 or f1.2 is my go-to lens. So in between, I've never had anything to work with until recently. I know this is not new for FPS-C shooters. If you're using FPS-C DSLRs or mirrorless cameras, you will attach a 15 millimeters lens and it gives you a 75 millimeters. But I find myself really loving this focus length. It is not as restrictive as 85 or 90 that I'm used to and it's a lot longer than 15 millimeters equivalent and it's just perfect for my street portraits. I can narrow down my perspective, I can have a tighter composition to isolate my subjects better and it just works and I'm finding myself using this more and more for my street photography. Reason number two, I really love the handling and ergonomics on this Nikon D50. It is a DSLR, so the hand gripping area is really substantial and beefy. I have plenty of space to wrap my fingers around the grip area and the handling is just very comfortable. And also, thanks to the lightweight construction of the camera, it is made of fully plastic. I know some people will say, oh, plastic is bad, I prefer it to be made of metal, but it reduces the weight and because this is so light, I have no issue handling this camera for long durations of time and I really also treasure the top LCD display I can see all the settings very quickly and make adjustments on the LCD plate and it really helps especially under the hot sun well the rear LCD screen of course I can't see much because it is an old outdated screen so having a top uh, mono display it actually really really helps the experience reason number three wider lens compatibility with the camera body. Although this Nikon D50 is an older DSLR, it is still compatible with much more lenses, especially the older ones, the AFD lenses that requires the screw mechanism from the camera. And I really love this because I can use this lens. This is the 50 f1.8 AFD from Nikon. Although I know the newer lenses are superior, it's sharper, all of this is faster, whatever. But hey, I can find one really cheap. I think I got this lens for like 30 US dollars and it works. I'm using a six megapixel image sensor. How much sharper do I need? And the lens works just perfectly for this Nikon D50. I know the newer Nikon cameras, like the Nikon D60, the Nikon D3000 series or the D5000 series, they stopped accepting the older lenses. They took away the screw mount or the screw autofocus on the camera body. So you need to buy newer lenses for the autofocus to work. Hey Nikon, I don't understand why you did that, but you did it and I know this is the past, we're moving on to mirrorless now, but hey, if I were to choose, I would choose a camera body that accepts as many lenses as possible.
Reason number four. I like the minimalist control on this Nikon D50. After all, this is a DSLR from previous years. There's not too many bells and whistles, and the controls and the settings are very straight to the point. The button placements, there's only a single dial. The settings and controls, they are very easy to find. The layout is very logical. Although I don't have a Nikon camera before, I find myself using this camera quite efficiently. I have no issue whatsoever. And I wish newer modern cameras would pay attention to this because the complex menu system, to find one particular setting and to dive deep into the menu, and it's almost impossible to find something quickly, I think we can make do without all these complications. Photography should be easy, photography should be quick, photography should be very, very simple. Oh, I need is just my shutter speed, ISO, aperture, and I can get my shot. I don't need all these crazy settings, and I think we need to focus on this simplicity, this minimalism, that will make photography fun again. Reason number five, reliable autofocus. I'm referring to single autofocus, shooting under bright sunlight, that's where I do most of my photography, and I have no issue locking focus very quickly, confidently, and accurately. I find an autofocus in this Nikon D50 is very, very effective, and I've nailed some critical moments with no issue whatsoever. Now, I understand that the newer cameras have like crazy fast continuous autofocus or some AI deep learning face detection whatever. I know that it's, this is more complex, it's more efficient than and here, more advanced and people have been relying on that. I'm not against progress but to me, just give me a really, really dependable single autofocus and I will be happy. Reason number six, very good 6 megapixels CCD image sensor. I know some people are complaining, ah, oh, but I need like 60 megapixels, I need like 16 stops dynamic range, I need like 6 million clean high ISO. And I'm not denying that the camera manufacturers should push the boundaries of what's possible with digital imaging, with more resolution, more dynamic range, and better high ISO performance. I'm not denying that, but hey, for day-to-day -day photography, for my street photography, I'm shooting under bright sun. I'm shooting at ISO 200. What high ISO? And the dynamic range is more than sufficient for what I need to do. And at six megapixels, believe me, there's plenty of pixels to go around unless you crop your images severely, which I don't do. For me, the six megapixels is more than sufficient for my needs. And finally, reason number seven, and perhaps the most important reason, I got this camera for about 150 ringgit only. That's less than 30 US dollars. For this price, and getting this kind of image quality out of this camera, and the performance, I cannot complain. And the lens itself, I got it for another 150 ringgit, so the total is about less than 300 ringgit. That's 80 US dollars? Something like that? Or maybe even 60 US dollars? I don't know. What I'm, I'm saying is that it's really cheap and I have no regret whatsoever and can still enjoy using this. I don't know if you can see from this video that it's starting to rain and I have to cut this video short. I've shared my reasons why I love using this D50 more and more for my recent street photography outings. Do you agree with my thoughts or do you have your own opinion to share? Leave them in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. If you found my sharing beneficial, if you've enjoyed looking at my photographs, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal, links in the description below on how can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It'll definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.